Kara Wegerman from Duke University, and my co-authors Jackie Henson and Lindsay King and I are part of the Transplant Hepatology Group at Duke. Uh, we were honored to be part of the 2021 Academic Debates on Intrahepatic Cholangiocarcinoma, and we would like to argue that intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma should be a contraindication to liver transplantation. In this article for Clinical Liver Diseases, we take you through our three main points. First of all, liver transplantation for intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma has significantly inferior outcomes compared to liver transplantation for other indications. There's a lot of heterogeneity in the literature, but the best survival rates we're seeing are about 60 to 65%, with many studies showing survival rates of 30 to 40% at five years. And importantly, some of these studies with better outcomes were based on explant studies. In other words, tumors that were misdiagnosed as HCC or that were very small and indolent and not detected on imaging. These studies naturally bias toward better outcomes. Secondly, there is a very high risk of recurrence of intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma after liver transplantation, even if you use neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Again, the literature is really heterogeneous, um, but recurrence rates of up to 40%, even at a year, have been seen. And the final reason is that we feel that as transplant hepatologists, we have an obligation to transplant patients who will have better outcomes. As you all know, livers are a scarce resource and many patients die while waiting for a liver transplant. If we are seeing patients whose five-year survival is significantly below the national average, we really should not be allocating livers this way. So therefore, for these three reasons, we feel that intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma should be a contraindication to liver transplantation. We hope you enjoy the article. Thanks.